Good day. Welcome to our tutor session on accounting equation. I'll share with you uh, some slides that will guide us as we go through this concept. Okay, so our topic for today is accounting equation, VAT included, and no stock transactions. So what we are focusing on today is your VAT input, your VAT output. We're going to discuss how you account for VAT input and VAT output uh, in an accounting equation. Then we're going to look at the framework for accounting equation. Uh, then lastly, we're going to look at a typical exam question and a solution. Okay, so let's get to the business of the day. Uh, first, VAT input. Uh, as far as VAT input is concerned, we regard it as a current asset since it's climbable from SARS. Then how is VAT input disclosed on the account equation? Uh, like we indicated, it's a current asset, so you disclose VAT input under assets. Then VAT input always a, has a positive effect on the asset since you'll be increasing an asset, so it will be a plus. Uh, for example, here, plus 5,000 if we had a VAT input of 5,000. Then VAT input is always disclosed as a debit VAT input under assets. Uh, if you still remember from the previous session, we said assets increase on the debit side. Uh, that's why we say debit VAT input. Then uh, most common transactions that attract VAT input, uh, these are just uh, example most common ones. We are looking at acquisition of trade inventory, acquisition of non-current assets such as machinery, equipment, subject to approval by SARS. Then we've got goods or services that constitute an essential input to our business. For example, the most common ones are water and electricity, telephone, stationary ETC. These are common to most businesses because your business can't run properly if you don't have these in place. Then we look at the opposite side now, which is the VAT output. VAT output is regarded as a current liability since it's payable to SARS. How is VAT output disclosed on your accounting equation? You disclose VAT output under liabilities. Then VAT output has a positive effect on the liability. Since you are increasing your liability, uh, then it will be a plus on, on the liability side. So for example, if you had a VAT output of 5,000, you disclose that under liabilities as plus 5,000. Then VAT output is always disclosed as a credit VAT output under liabilities. Remember from our previous session, we said liabilities increase on the credit side. Is the reason why we are saying credit VAT output here. Then most common transactions that attract VAT output, we are looking at selling of trade inventory, selling of non-current assets, for example, machinery equipment, then income generated from standard rated goods and services such as delivery income, settlement discount received. Yeah, so then the next thing now is to look at your framework for accounting equation. We did discuss this in our previous session. So it's just a recap. Remember your assets is got owner's equity plus liabilities. Uh, under owner's equity, we said we've got two legs, one uh, with a negative sign, the other one with a positive. Under the negative, we have got your drawings and expenses. Under your plus, you've got your capital and income. So apply uh, this accounting equation. We'll look at a transaction, then we apply this concept. Then, yes, let's look at our typical exam question. Yes, this is a typical exam question. Uh, accounting equation that included so the transactions are that inclusive and we want to record these transactions in an accounting equation let's look at day one day one they say you bought a stationary of 115 runs using petty cash so from the previous sessions again we said you need to identify the two accounts affected which in this case is your stationary and 
petty cash. Stationary is an expense, petty cash is an asset. Okay, but the major uh, focus here is on the calculations. Since we already discussed double entry in our previous sessions, our main focus is on how you do the calculations. Calculation of VAT exclusive um, and calculation of the VAT amount. Okay, so in this case, since we bought stationary, the VAT that is applicable here is VAT input, like we discussed under VAT input. So let's look at your solution and calculations where necessary uh, relating to day one. So day one, um, you have got your assets. Remember, we said we um, uh, your petty cash is being affected. Since we are taking money out of the petty cash box, then it's a credit petty cash and it's a minus on the uh, asset side. That's why we put a minus. Um, go back to the solution. Yes. So under your owner's equity, remember we said it's a minus under the owner's equity because this is an expense. So that's why we say minus 100 rand and debit stationary. Under your liabilities is zero and under your VAT input is plus 15, which is the VAT amount. But the question is, how did we calculate this um, a VAT exclusive, 100 rand, and the VAT input of 15 rand. How did we calculate that? Okay. So let's see. We can show a calculation, a short calculation here uh, relating, to, relating to day one. Okay, so your calculation uh, of VAT exclusive amount. So we want to calculate VAT exclusive for day one. So in this case, you take your 115, remember it's a VAT inclusive, then you divide by 1,15. One, one, 1, That's how they got the 100 rand. Uh, which is the amount for stationary. Then your actual VAT amount, it's easy. It's your difference between your VAT inclusive and your VAT exclusive. 115 minus 100 rand, then you get your 15 rand. Let's look at the next transaction. The next transaction is saying, Day four, set up our account in full with A. Smith, less 12% settlement discount. The creditor statement showed a balance of 65,000 prior to this account statement. Yes, so we need to analyze this uh, transaction. Because this transaction is a bit long, I will show the calculation here. Then we'll go to our solution already with all the figures that we need. So let's analyze the accounts affected. We settled our account. So which means we paid A. Smith is our creditor. We paid A. Smith. Then we got a 12% settlement discount. Then how much did we owe him? We owed him uh, 65,000. So our VAT inclusive amount um, that we owe A. Smith is given already is 65,000. Okay, so what do we need to calculate? First is the bank amount, the amount that we paid. So bank, which is the amount after a discount. How do we calculate it? It's a shorter way because we are getting 12% discount. Or let's use a longer way in this case so that we can see all the necessary figures. So we stood, we going to show the balance first. Then we're going to show the discount. OK, 
okay a discount which is 12% of 65,000 so on my calculator if I punch uh, 65,000 times 12% I get 7,800 so 7,800 we are getting that as a discount so we're not required to pay 65,000 in this case we're only going to pay a uh, reduced amount reduced by 7,800 so your balance or what is going now to bank uh, your bank is going to be your 65,000 minus 7,800 so on my calculator which is 57,200 that's the amount going to my bank 57,200 let's show it here 57,200 then the next figure that we need is is your discount um, that exclusive the discount amount the discount that we have here 7,800 remember it's inclusive of that because the 65,000 uh, that we owed a Smith is that inclusive therefore uh, the discount that we calculated of 7800 is also that inclusive but in our books in our um, account equation we need to show the settlement discount received which is income and it must be that exclusive though so that's what we want to calculate here uh, settlement uh, discount received which is income uh, indicate here it's VAT exclusive how do we calculate this one um, you take your discount of 7800 then you divide by 1,15 like what we did previously on day one the procedure is the same you divide by 1,15 so 7800 on my calculator divided by 1,15 okay i get 7 uh, 6782 6782 after rounding off 61 that's my that's my settlement discount received which is VAT exclusive so we need this figure uh, so I'll delete some of the information because there is one more figure that we need so I'll just delete this since we have already this figure okay so the last figure that I need is the actual VAT amount remember we said where you receive income the vat applicable in this case is vat output so we need to calculate what is the vat output amount that we need to go and show in our accounting equation so vat here check your vat here is coming as a result of the income in CAD of settlement discount received so very important our vat is not coming uh, from the 65,000 but from the discount that we got remember the discount that we got was 7,800 so we take that this is 7,800 is that inclusive then we subtract the VAT uh, exclusive amount to get the VAT output which is equal to the difference on my calculator 7800 minus 6782.61 okay i get 1017.39 so this is the vat output amount so the very important figures that we need which you take 
to our um, account equation 1017.39 VAT output amount, the 6782.61, which is the settlement discount received. Uh, remember, it's a VAT exclusive amount. Then we also need the bank amount 57200. Then uh, 65,000, the whole amount is, is also going to be shown under the liabilities. So let's go to our account equation and see how we disclose that. Okay, so first let's look at assets. We are looking at day four, remember, minus 57,200 because we are taking out cash to pay our creditor. Assets decrease on the credit side, that's why we credit bank. Then we come under, um, probably to make things easier, let's start with the liabilities. The whole amount, 65,000 that you were given, you can disclose that first. It's a minus because we are reducing our liability, our obligation. We paid these guys 57,200. Then they also gave us a discount. So we'll show the whole amount 65,000 here. Then we indicate debit creditors control because the uh, liabilities decrease on the debit side. Okay, so done with the creditors control under liabilities, but also under liabilities, we do have your VAT output. Remember we said VAT output is a liability, it's payable to SARS. Then the amount, this is the amount that we calculated, 1017.39, it's a plus because our liabilities are increasing. So that's why it's a plus and that's why it's a credit on the VAT output. Then lastly, your settlement discount received uh, of 6782.61 is shown as a plus here under owner's equity because it's income. Income is on the positive side under our two legs, remember, of owner's equity. Uh, then when it comes to debit or credit, income increases on the credit side that's why we said credit settlement discount uh, that's it for today that's the end of our lesson um, so in our next session we'll be looking at um, accounting equation but uh, we're going to consider we're going to take into account uh, inventory transaction, the periodic and perpetual inventory system, and that is still applicable. Um, on the screen here, check my contact details, my previous uh, tutor sessions if you miss them.